Well, good evening, everybody. Um, I thought I'd just do a, a quick video now before I um, I have to disappear on a work trip for a couple of weeks. Um, just do a quick update on on where we're going with this particular radio, and what I've done at the moment. I've um, I'm going to start doing some some transmission or some modulation tests. So I've reconfigured the hardware uh, to allow that. So what I've done now. I've got a, uh, an old microphone here, and uh, that comes in through the bottom. So we've got the microphone coming in here and the PTT. At the moment, the PTT is not connected, but what that will do, I will be feeding that into the Tensi. Um, the Tensi will then detect that it's been keyed, um, and within the software, we'll change a few settings over, and at the same time, outputting um, a 5 volt signal, which will go to a um, a couple of uh, transistor switches to switch over some relays and we'll look at what that's going to do in due course. At the moment the uh, the microphone just got a um, 10 microfarad decoupling capacitor there um, and then that's feeding in through if you can just see down there on the audio board of the Tensi uh, there is the microphone input so that's going directly in there's no outboard amplification of the microphone um, we can in the software set the microphone gain so uh, that's where we'll do all the um, the gain setting for the microphone um, the output so the two yellow wires here are the input to the Tensi and the two grey wires are the output of the Tensi and at the moment they are going to two um, isolating transformers and then going into the NE612s so in terms of a circuit diagram, what that looks like is this. So we've got the, as we just mentioned before, the microphone is coming into the Tensi. Um, that will then go through in software two Hilbert transforms. One will be applying the plus 45 degrees and one will be applying the minus 45 degrees to get our overall 90 degrees phase split between our in phase and our quadrature signals. So they then come out of the Tensi, as we mentioned before, so that's the output, through those two 600 to 600 ohm isolating transformers, those are the two red ones here, coming from the grey wires, and then feeding into the NE612s. So they're going in um, through two 10 microfarad uh, decoupling capacitors again, and they're going into pin 1, which is the A input to the NE612. So again, through the isolating transformers, try and get rid of any hum if you may have any, and then through into our NE612. The output of the NE612 um, on the transmit side of the house is going to come out on pin 4, and then into our RF combiner. Uh, very similar to what we had on the receive side, so that's just simply... Um, a 10 turn on the primary and then two 10 turns set up as a bifiler uh, on the secondary and that's what we see here so the output is coming through on pins 4 let's see if it remains in focus so the output is coming through on pin 4 um, sorry the input is coming through on pin 1 I should say and then the output is coming through on pin 4 through a 100, uh, through a 100 nanofarad um, capacitor through these yellow wires here. So again, one, two, three, four, coming out into our, our um, secondary, which is the two 10 turn bifiler wires. And then the, the input, which is also 10 turns, will then go through exactly the same uh, two bandpass filters that we used on the receive testing. The output of the bandpass filter is just going straight around our microphone amplifier, just straight output, and then we will uh, tap that off over here at the antenna port. So just purely just doing some low power uh, modulation tests just to see how well we get on in terms of setting up our Tensi to create those uh, in phase and quadrature signals. Like I say, into our two NE612s, into pin 1s, our A inputs, same quadrature uh, clocks being fed in. Um, and then the output of which, like I say, is coming through on pin 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, output, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
output being combined there and out we go. So that's just a quick rundown of uh, setting up the hardware. Um, while I'm away for the next couple of weeks um, we'll do some software engineering. We'll uh, look to reconfigure the software on the Tensi. Just allow us to, uh, like I say, amplify that microphone gain coming in. Set up those two Hilbert transforms to then in the end uh, come out here and here. Um, that software will be transferred only just for testing and then after that we'll look to convert that software into a transceiver. So then use the PTT to then reconfigure um, that receive slash transmit software and turn into a full transceiver. Anyway, so like I say, that's just a, uh, a quick update. Um, didn't want to sort of belabor the point too much. Um, any questions sing out, but like I say, um, I'm going to be out of the office for a couple of weeks now. And uh, back at the end of the month, we will continue. So, um, I won't, I don't think there's anything more to pass on. Uh, for interest's sake, um, those transformers actually got through um, AliExpress uh, from China. So 10 of those cost $3.80. So 38 cents each, which I thought was quite quite reasonable. Uh, and they seem to work quite well. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think that's all. Okay, well I'll say 73s. And uh, we'll keep working on this. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers all.